Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm uh, doing this video. Um, I got the, not the whole wave. I'm missing Michelangelo here. And that's a mishappening that I had with um, uh, with Big Bad Toy Store that they lost my package. So I have to reorder these two figures. But Michelangelo is still on pre-order because I guess that's the figure that everybody wants. And... Uh, they just misplaced it. The bad thing about it is that also in that same package, I had the Thundercats Ultimate um, Wild Kitty, I think the girl, the the young uh, Thundercat girl. Well, she's missing too. <laughs> so I have four figures coming in one package and they just misplaced the whole thing. They refund me for the Ultimate figure, but uh, I don't know, they said, sooner or later it should show up at my doorstep but i doubt it if that happens they, they you know they told me that I, I could keep all the figures in that package for free but if it comes i hope it comes but i don't know if it's gonna ever ever gonna come so but i do have the michelangelo on pre-order i'm gonna do the video now uh i wanted to have all four figures but i just have these three for right now which is casey jones skeletor and tila from the Turtles of Grace Gold line. And, but before I do that, show you these three figures. Before I unbox them, I wanna give you a look at the stuff that I got on sale from, uh, I think I told you guys in the last video, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, this is just not it. I got a couple more Battle Cats and uh, Oh, and I do have another Skeletor. Now, the Skeletor, I, I paid a full, full price, but I want to do something with his body. You know, I got a couple of these ones. Um, but I don't know. I'm thinking of doing something with this figure. I don't know what yet, but we'll see. We'll see about this figure. But this is just the only figure that I got which wasn't on sale. Everything else was on sale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Give you a quick look over here. I got the uh, Point Dread Talon Fighter for $14 at Walmart. And then from Ollie's, I got the Battle Cat 14. I got three of them, three of those. I also got Clam Shine for 15. That Wind Raider, which I'm planning on getting Maybe another Panthor, another um, Wind Raider, and also I got a Langshot over here, which I'll, I'm gonna customize all of this into new stuff. But uh, I went to a discount store and I found this Oracle, Vintage Collection Oracle for $10, and I couldn't say no to that. I've seen a lot of Oracles with the head that were over $30 at eBay, you know, scalper price. So I was very happy to find it. And, um, you know, I don't have that many vintage stuff from Masters of the Universe, but, you know, it's a good thing to have, you know, to have them. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I'll prob I probably will be getting uh, a couple more vintage figures. Maybe He-Man, Skeletor. Um... A couple other ones. I still have Rangman. I, I I know I have a Battle Cat somewhere. Um, I got I got a couple of Grizz Lords, which I I'm still gonna customize. Um, and I got a couple more things. I want to say I have a Trap Gel somewhere, but I can't remember. Anyway, back to Toros of Grey School figures here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the figure that uh, I think for me. It'd be the, uh, my favorite one, which is uh, Skeletor here. Evil Samurai of Destruction. I do believe that this figure, the green stuff, lights up in the, uh, in the dark. As you can see in the back here. You can find him Donatello. Pretty cool. There's all the four figures. Missing Michelangelo. This is gonna be. I guess it's gonna be released next month. That's what he says. 
at the site, uh, you know, at, at the Big Bad Toy Store site website. You also Grace Girl right there. So let's see how good she looks out of the pack. Got the comic book here. I did not have a good um luck with the first comic book that came out for Charles of Grade School, but this time I do have the words. Let's give you a quick look at, at, at a few pages of the comic book. I still need to read a couple. I mean, I read a few of them, but I didn't read all of them. But the second, the second wave of the comic book I read, and it was pretty interesting. As you can see, pretty cool looking figure. Some head sculpt. It's got that samurai look to it. A ripped cape. You also got this two holes here that it looks to me that it would be to hold something, but I don't see anything that he should be holding. But pretty cool figure nonetheless. Let's look at the way he looks. Thing. I do believe all these light up articulation same as any other masses of the universe and I really like, I kind of I know but I really like that blue kind of like a bluish purplish type of color in the on the body nice texture in the cape also and with this weapon You can bend it, you know. Something like that. I don't know. It's going to. It's my favorite. Uh, Masters of Masters of the Universe character. So. I want to see how he looks. I want to get every version of Skeletor, any version of Cube Human, of course. So that's the first figure. The second would be Casey Jones, One Man Weapons Rack. Look at him. Really cool. Inside of the pack, and here you got him fighting. A lot of those mouse traps. And in the back you got sorcerers. I look like it's inside Castle Grayskull. So pretty cool. 
myself a small little bio there. If you wanna, if you wanna read it, you can pause, pause the video and read it. And it does look like it comes with a lot of weapons. So we'll see about that. You can see just by cutting these, he already has a, a katana, I guess. He's got a staff. Full weapons over here. And this weapon right here is from um Prime. Okay, he's got quite a few weapons there. I think this is the first figure that I got from I don't know if I got it from Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon but I got this figure some time ago helmet is removable let's look at the face there these holes will come in handy on this figure. A lot of weapons for Casey Jones here. Let me see if I can fit all these weapons. But as you can see, he's got a total shoulder pad here. Pretty cool looking. His back has got the two, the two holes. I guess we're gonna get an air pull on here, right? Pretty soon. Uh, let's put the mask back on. Uh, I guess we'll put this on his arm over here. I guess. Oh. I think you gotta take the arm, the, the hand off, and then, nah. Well, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I took the hand off and it fits a lot better. But, uh, I'm not sure if the, the way you're supposed to do it. Let's see, I guess I'll give him this. How does it have in the back? He's got his um his uh, hockey stick over here, but um let me see. Let me put everything in 
Yeah, I guess hopefully they don't fit. I think that they will. I don't know, it might look, make the, the the figure a little top heavy, but it really doesn't. Can fit all this stuff in the bag, I guess. Nice color and detail on the backpack. I guess you can place all the way. I guess you can place the uh yeah the hockey stick right here there you go really cool guess following the you know the picture over here and that's casey jones from the turtles of gray school yeah articulation everywhere you know just like any other masses of the universe i'm not gonna go into that uh, because it's basically the same thing, but yeah, a little top heavy, but not too bad. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I took the hand off, and if it's the you know the the hit the uh, gauntlet here, it's really the Jitsu Hong gauntlet fits really well on his arm. So I guess that's how I'm gonna display it and just put this here with the rest of my accessories or something so for the time being all right last figure would be Tila over here well it's not the last figure the last figure would be Michelangelo but as I said you gotta some type of bad luck with big bad toy stores so yeah how she looks in the box. Oh man, this is great. I needed somebody to be fighting that merman. And now I have her, so yeah. All the figures, all the stuff that you can, you know, I guess you can put the shell on behind her, you know, in her bag over here. It's gonna go into those two holes. Let me check the figure out. Same comic book. Right off the bat, I really, really like that color green. I don't know. I think I guess green is my favorite color, but that green, every type of green that I that I see, it just gets my eye. And I really like that. I like Ninja Turtles for that reason because the color green. But um, I am really, really liking this picture right here. You know, the, the artwork. Merman versus Tila. But oh man, it looks really nice. Yeah. Very easily came out. And then the rest of the thing I'm gonna have to got the straps. I do believe that's it. Uh, yeah. Here's Tila. I let me see. I don't know if you can take the. Oh no, the the helmet is glued into his to her face, you know, to her head. So can't take the helmet off. But I, yeah, you can take this off. I think. But I'm not going to. I'm just keeping it like, like it is. Very flimsy um plastic over here, which is good, because I mean. You are gonna need to lift this up so you can put this uh, turtle shield right under her 
bag over here and place it just like this. The, the two holes right there. It kind of hinders a little bit of the movement in the head, but it doesn't really go in too well. But I'm not having this, I'm, you know, I'm not going to have a display like that. I'm going to have her holding it. I think it went in, though. Yeah, I think it did went in. Um, same articulation. A little stiff, but, you know. That's what I'm really scared of female figures because the joint is so small, you know what I mean? But I, I am really, really liking that green. Pretty cool fit. This might be my favorite figure, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, it goes nicely in there. Kind of a little tough trying to get it in there, but um, you can use it like that or you can use it as a shield, I guess. Um, it isn't really going like I would like it to, but nah, it's not, it's not really going in there like it should. There we go. really went in there this time. Let's see. Yeah. You really gotta check both sides to make sure that it's in there, you know, but yeah, it hinders the the movement it hinders the the, uh, the movement of the head by a little bit but not so much. Look at the way she looks from the back. With her shield. Pretty cool looking figure. I really like it. I'm gonna say, man, this might be my favorite Tila. She looks really cool. The only one miss, big miss here is Michelangelo, of course. That which that would be the last turtle figure. And I got this gauntlet that fell. like it like I said articulation is everywhere the knees are a little stiff but they do bend it's a good thing and a bad thing a good thing because you know you know the figure is new but it's a bad thing because you don't want to break it you know what I mean I don't think I don't know if it yeah this articulation and the other uh, boot and also articulation in the, in the uh, ankles so, cool figure though. Really awesome. Tila. He handles a little bit. He doesn't really messes, messes with the articulation in the head, but you, you can't tilt back too much. All right, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, I want to. I'm gonna do a few videos of some customs that I have made myself. You know, with all the figures, some wrestlers and stuff like that. Um, I got a lot of wrestlers that I caught on sale just to make new figures, and uh, I'm gonna have some fun, man. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do. Customs uh, that I am gonna be making. Mm. Just to give you a, a quick glimpse, I'm gonna make that clamp, clamp champ. Some of the parts are going to go to towards another grizzler with black fur that I'm thinking of doing. So 
I'll give you guys a look at all that stuff. And more income and stuff that I, you know, that I'm thinking of doing. I have a lot, a lot of um, custom figures that I want to show you guys. Anyway, it's been over 20 minutes, 25 minutes really, trying to get these figures out there. But, uh, you know, I did a little bit of everything. I showed you guys a few of my stuff that I got for sale. And I also gave you a review on most of the wave of uh, Turtles of Grace Grow Line. I do believe this is the third wave. So, yeah. I'm going to do that Michelangelo um, a video sooner. Uh, hopefully soon. Um, you know, when whenever it gets to me, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get it done. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.